one to do a garden tour video, but I just got out of the onion patch, the onion potato patch, and I need to harvest these, so I figured I would, you know, share this. Because the time I get to shoot that garden tour video, these will already be gone. Now, it is middle of June, and we're still getting brassicas. They're not bolting, they're still growing, and we are having a bit of pest problems now so i would remove the outer leaves that have the pest spray them and they keep growing but look at that head of cabbage we got a couple like that that we need to harvest right now so we can benefit from these but their caterpillars are starting, so that is our main problem here. Now, how are we still getting brassicas in the middle of June? And it's 80 some degrees. Well, part is due to the house. The house shades this bed. So we are able to plant things that would e easily bolt up here. You remember this one? The broccoli that is in that, that I weeded it out? It, it just went to seed in no time, so I, and bolted. So I got it out of here. I now have spinach in here, but that's for another time. So, in this bed next, I think I will plant bok choy. Look. See there. So what I'm doing is just grabbing that off. And I'm gonna feed it to chickens. So yeah, we're gonna harvest these couple bigger heads of cabbage before the bugs get them, like I said. But yeah, let's do that and see what we got. And once you cut the head off of a cabbage, it won't do nothing else. There's no sense in leaving it in there. Just get the whole plant out and plant something else. So let's go ahead and get started on this garden tour. What beautiful flowers. The lemon tree is growing great. The herb garden is growing great. The orange tree is growing great. I do still need to get these. That's from the store-bought challenge cantaloupes. I need to get those planted. The potatoes in the box are doing fine. They're growing. Here's the challenge. The cobwebs. Look at those cobwebs. They're everywhere. Of course, you've already seen the cabbage. We have 
now have spinach planted in this and spinach planted in this for now. My little Tommy micro tom tomatoes are doing great. And chickens quit picking these. So I finally got that wayward chicken in. The strawberries, we've had a good harvest off of those. Romaine lettuce growing is about ready to be harvested. Come back over here where you can see. Let me get this flower in one out. I'm not sure why it bolted, but I do need to spray these. See the worms on them and get them covered. These are the Brussels sprouts. They're doing fine. Just got to spray them when the weather, when it dries up. They are brussling. Hi, donkeys. <laughs> Go down here to the front yard garden where we have all our potatoes. There's some spots where that didn't come through. They rotted. I think it's because it's on the upper side here. They got most of the rain first. We've had a lot of rain. And, but the potatoes all did great. I really like the fabric down for the potatoes. And we'll see come harvest time how much we got. Also, look at this bucket. It's on here just for a couple days of rain. But I did get, manage to get in here when it's dried up a little bit and weed out these onions. So they are, I got them weeded. I'm also going to put some cardboard down to feed the worms plus suppress the weeds. And then I have, now I transplanted, these are zucchini plants, three of them. And I transplanted them and then died. So we have excessive heat for this time of year here in Kentucky. And they just, they died even though we watered them. They was not ready for it. So we planted seeds and they've already come up bigger than the plants was when we planted them. I did get the berry patch weeded. And the berries are coming on outstandingly. These are blackberries. This blackberry bush needs cut down, but it is coming out better down there. I have another little runner I found, so I'm saving that. These are all doing great. They have new shoots on them. I did save some seeds. I'm going to try to start some from seeds. See how that goes. And here's my two raspberry bushes. One's tiny because, you know, I'm it down. But it's in there. I'm trying to get it. And then this one does have a couple little raspberries on it. So we'll see how that goes. And we got the blueberry patch weeded. And I figured as soon as I did that, the birds would come and get the blueberries, but they haven't yet. We've got the fog is something else this morning. Blueberries on these plants. The meat chickens there that are ready for harvest. We'll get that. Get those all weighed in. Hi, Callie. That's our indoor cat that comes outdoors. More blueberries. Coming back over here. Here's our second grapevine. I really need to show you the first grapevine. But this one was just planted last year. And it's almost to the top of this trellis 
We also have three kiwi vines. And I'm hoping that they do pretty good this year. Grow and then bear some fruit sometime soon. Now we're going to head on up to the back gardens. Now, we've had so much rain. I haven't been able to keep up with the weeds. Especially on the outside gardens. But now that it's drying up, I'm getting to it. Now we also need to plant a couple more rows of corn. And then also some more green beans. And here's the tunnel. We got carrots growing. Some lettuce that I thought might grow well in here, but it's not. So down in the thing is better. Bunch of onions, which are ready to harvest almost. And then I just pulled up brassicas through here. I need to get that planted. And then we've got pepper plants. And then this row just cleaned it up from other thing just flip this bed getting ready to plant more in it we do have kohlrabi growing right here looks like it should need sprayed I've never grown it before so that's interesting cucumber plants they're doing outstanding now let me show you a little secret about the cucumber plants these right here that one there is not officially a cucumber if this flower gets pollinated it will become a cucumber but if it doesn't get pollinated it'll fall off and there won't be a fruit there so you got male and female flowers and if they don't get pollinated, then that is not going to become a fruit. So when you look at your plants and you see those little baby cucumbers, don't get too excited. Just be thankful that you have male and female flowers. And if the pollinators come and pollinate them, then you will have fruit. So this right here, empty. We do have newly planted Swiss chard right here. Here's more Swiss chard. And look, the rest is tomatoes. We already have tomato fruit. So we do know that they're gonna get pollinated, those cucumbers, because we already have tomato fruits. We know we're getting pollination in the tunnel. I need to wrap these around. And my trellis system is just simple. I'm just hook some Dollar Tree twine and I tied it to a rope up here. Run this rope all the way down and tied these little twines all the way down, wrap that around my plant. And as they grow, I keep wrapping it around and it's doing a great job at trellising these plants. They are almost waist high now. I do have more over here to clean up and get planted. It just takes a while being that it's so hot outside you really have to work on this when it's early in the morning or really late at night because it's so hot in here during the day even with the fans on but we are we're growing in here 
I have more pepper plants. And I just planted some more. Got a little bit of weeds going. Here's the newly planted peppers. And then we have these. Oh, they're about to bloom. Well, I got one blooming already. Leeks. Never grown them before, so I was trying it. This was the radish bed, which I will show you in another video what we're doing with the radishes. So there's tunnel number one. And then we got this new produce plot. You see how much rain we've had now? We do have green beans a-growing down through there. We need to plant more. Uh, the corn, there's a few. The one package that this first row is, is that Batman from the 13,000 pound challenge. Not sure how many is growing. There's a few in there. Really, I'd like to have seen more growing out of that package. But like I said, we've had a lot of rain. It probably rotted the seeds in the ground, even though it was warm. Uh -uh, that's probably what it's done. We have another row of corn that probably needs replanted in places. And then we're going to try to do two more after we get it tilled up and weeded out. So, so far, the plan is with the produce plot for next year, as soon as this gets harvested, we're going to cover it with the tarp and leave it to kill these weeds. Because this is the first year of this plot here, we did anticipate it being very weedy. But the only way to get rid of the weeds is to work at killing them out. So with the ground always wants to be covered no matter what you do if you leave it alone it's going to cover itself even if there's not been a weed in it for years now we're going to go into the greenhouse still no front on it been busy elsewhere these tomato plants was started way after the ones in the tunnel and they're catching up and i want to show you this bloom I'm amazed by this bloom. It's huge, y'all. Like, look at the stalk on it. That bloom is gonna, it's either gonna be a huge tomato plant or it's gonna, you know, do nothing at all. We'll see. We do have these ones down here aren't doing the best. I'm assuming it's so hot down here is the reason why. But I still don't have anything planted in this one or this one. Well, that's okay. I uh, planted one kurabi in here. He's not doing so good. I think it's just too hot. And then I have some eggplants and some cucamelons. Which the cucamelons, we just put this pole up. To run some strands down for the cucumelons to grow up on. And I may put more in those ones in cucumbers. Because they're, you know, I want to provide a heat loving environment. And this is it. And cucumbers love heat. And peppers love heat. So we'll find something that loves the heat. And stick in the greenhouses right now. I still have some. Still have some tomato plants that have not found homes. I'm trying to find them a home. But this, this is crazy. Look how foggy this is this morning. Gives me a nice cool morning and do a farm tour. I'll walk over here to the back to Eden Garden. And all I have in here right now is flowers. So we're just 
testing it out. They're doing well. If you see the flowers are growing. We got some flowers growing back there. And just testing it out, seeing what all will grow in here this year. Probably not going to be successful until next year. And nothing growing in the pot and shed right now. Because we don't need it. I did want to show you our compost heap. Still rocking the hot, active to hot temperatures. So that's awesome. I think we're down day like 20 on that. We can get a few more days. Open it up. We'll get what we need out of it. Turn it and let it cook again. <laughs> my compost, my small composts are, this is the large chunk one, so this is gonna take longer. Now look, this is the small chunk. You see the difference? I've put almost the same amount in that one as in this one, and this one is already breaking down rapidly. So that is just a quick tour of the gardens right now and the compost bins. Hi Miss Callie. Hi. <laughs> Callie's our indoor cat that has no litter box. She lets us know when she needs to go outside to potty. We let her out. That's the best way to have a cat. Don't have to have a litter box. <laughs> Here's my flower bed. These are starting to bloom, which are gorgeous. And we get a few more flowers in here. But this bed, we always had trouble with this side and mowing it. So covering it up. Perfect. I still need to plant in that box. I've got an idea of what I'm going to plant in it. I just need to do it. Need to find time to do it. Thank you for joining me on my walkabout for the garden tour. This is the middle of June and it never fails to excite me on how much things grow from month to month. How much they change, you know, flipping beds and things. But if, you know, gardening is constantly growing and you as a gardener are constantly growing, learning new things growing and getting better at it every day so even if you something doesn't grow right don't stress you're growing you're learning you'll get it it might take years and it you might just have it first off but right now i need to get these animals fed before it gets too hot so y'all have a great day and y'all come back